Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by and joining me for this video. Today, I'm gonna be setting up my happy planner for the upcoming month, the month of September, which means that fall is right around the corner. I know the planning community is losing their damn minds over the fact that <laughs> fall is coming and I'm not gonna lie I am also excited for fall summer is my favorite month so I am a little bit sad to see her go but I am also uh, a lover of fall festivities and I'm excited to put together my fall bucket list and get out my cozy sweaters my cozy boots and not feel like I'm sweating 24 7 I am in Southern California so things get a little hot down here anyways I have my stack of planners here and I have my current planner setup um, here beside me as well so we're gonna go ahead and get into all of these planners and set up my September mega planner I'm gonna be setting up Miss Andromeda today I also have my other happy mega planner um, Miss Cassiopeia but I'm gonna do her in another video I'm just gonna set up Miss Andromeda here today so if you're interested in seeing how I set up my mega happy planner which is a combination of eight different planners if you're interested in seeing how I do that just keep on watching all right so this is my current planner setup um, I'm using the colorful leopard cover with these teal expander discs and I've been using this for the last two months or so but because it is uh, September um, and you know fall is right around the corner I've decided to switch up my planner setup to something a little bit more fall and for some reason I felt like this planner cover that says you are made to bloom is very fall for me especially with the gold metal expander discs I know it has florals on it and florals are very spring but um, these florals are orange and yellow and they just give me those fall color vibes I'm excited to switch into a more fall themed planner I feel like it's about time that I let this colorful leopard planner um, you know give her a rest and switch into something a little bit more uh, themed so I'm gonna be switching everything into this planner here and I've actually already kind of set up the months of September in here so what we're gonna be doing is transferring all the things I need to transfer from my current setup into this planner here so uh, yeah we're gonna just get into it and so right now in this mega happy planner i have eight different happy planners franken planned into her and i just have the month of uh august for each planner in here except for oh no no actually yeah i just have the month of august for all eight of my planners in this planner right now all right to set up my planner for september i'm going to um, be taking out the months of august from my current planner setup in this one and then putting them back into the planners that they came from and then um, transferring the stuff that I need to transfer over from this planner into this planner and then this planner I set up a long time ago a well actually just a couple of months ago and back then I had an idea of using or yeah using two months per planner section in one planner I realized that that wasn't gonna fly and so i ended up just kind of leaving the months of september and october in this planner so i'm going to be taking out the months of october that i already have in here leaving in the months of september and then just setting up this planner so it's gonna take a bit so I hope you have your planner with you. You are decorating your planner and setting up your planner while you watch this because we love a multitasking queen. And also, it's just so much fun to like plan with someone. Like all the plan with me's in the planning community, I actually do plan with them. Like I pull out my planner. I do not watch their videos unless I am planning myself or decorating myself and that's just because I love that feeling of planning with someone and like doing something communally um, that's why I love plan with me's so 
So for the cover page, I'm gonna leave this cover page with this planner because I think it's very summery and I definitely wanna reuse it at some point, maybe in future summers, but I don't think it's very fall and so I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna grab another cover page. I'm gonna grab this cover page from this happy planner. I'm not sure what this one is called, but it's a fitness planner and it has this like yoga zen feeling to it. Um, but I'm gonna grab this cover page here and um, I also am gonna grab this page as well because I, th I like that. I like this calendar for fall here. So I think this cover page is gorgeous. It has these beautiful sunset colors that kind of give me fall vibes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in here and I will decorate this cover page at some future point. You know what, I think I'm also going to add this other page from the Year at a Glance calendar. I've heard people call it the Perpetual Calendar as well. I'm not sure exactly what the official name for this is, but I'm going to grab these, this other page here. And I don't think I'm going to transfer these calendar pages over into this one. Um, what I'll probably do is just write, transfer over... Um, the uh like the stuff i've written i'll transfer it over into the new calendar and i'll write it you know a bit more nicely and anything that i just decide that i don't need to transfer i won't transfer um but yeah i think i'll start a new year at a glance and leave this one here and then i'm gonna add this last calendar page here as well I actually had to rescue this calendar page. As you can see, it's kind of torn up here on the edges and that's because the back of these calendar pages are is always like the monthly overview for the first month in the year. So the back of this calendar page is has the July overview on the back. And when I first put this into my planner here, um, I didn't want the, uh, the perpetual calendar page just to be randomly in my planner in the middle of my planners. So what I ended up doing was using double-sided adhesive to tape it to a piece of scrapbook paper that I put some stickers on the back of. And that way I, I didn't have like a random like calendar page in the middle of my planner. But um, I didn't think I was gonna end up using the, this perpetual calendar, but I guess I did. So I had to rescue it from, from that situation. It's a little bit torn up on the edges, but otherwise it survived okay. So um, I just have the July monthly overview on the back of it because that's unavoidable. So we're just gonna have to leave that there. I'm gonna transfer my folder here of stationery. I think that's gonna stay. Transfer my envelope full of stickers as well and my sticky note dashboard with my uh, little collage here. I also am gonna transfer my Happy Planner solar system spread and my bedtime routine. That's gonna go. I need to make a new one of these soon, um, as well as a new sleep log because I'm almost done filling this one out. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer the bookmark. And to transfer this scrapbook paper with the stickers on it. And then we have my first planner section. So this is the only planner section that I leave the bookmark at the front of the planner instead of in the middle of the planner on the week that I'm on. That's because I'm using the Skinny Mini planner and um, she's tiny. And so this bookmark definitely kind of overwhelms her. And I'm gonna be sharing with you all of the planners that these planner sections come from. So this Wildflower Skinny Mini is my affirmations a planner every day I try to write a little affirmation for myself and it's been a lot of fun to just take a moment in in the morning to write something really positive for me so um, this is the month of September here she's tiny she takes barely any time to decorate and film so I'm gonna go ahead and pop her into 
the rings here and I'm going to be leaving all of the uh, August months in this planner for now because today's Sunday, the week still has not finished. You know, I start my weeks on Monday and there's still a couple of things that I want to do in my planners before I return them to their planners that they came from. So I'm just going to be leaving the months in here but um, I'll be transferring everything else. So this piece of scrapbook paper with stickers on it is also going to come into this planner here. And then my daily agendas, I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm kind of over that one now, but I'm gonna be transferring this um, daily agenda. I like holding on to my daily agenda sheets because sometimes it gives me ideas for how I want to structure my day and just sometimes I really like how I decorated them and so they're just nice to have around. Also this one I still have this uh, the back of this daily agenda which is just plain grid paper and I could use this for something. So I'm going to transfer that over and then transfer my bookmark as well. And then I'm going to transfer the rest of these daily agenda sheets. And I also have a couple of my own daily agenda sheets. So I'll transfer those as well. And then I have another folder with some sketchbook paper in it and some stickers in the back. So I'll transfer that as well. And then the second planner section in this planner is my fitness section. So I mark it with the scrapbook paper with these fitness sticky notes on it. So that's going to transfer over. This uh, planner section here is for my gardening planner. That one goes in my other planner. So I'm just going to go ahead and let put that to the side for now. And then as I said, I'm going to be leaving the month of August in here and let's see um this is a current week so i will transfer my bookmark over but i need to find the month of september for my fitness planner in here somewhere oh here it is oh. this is the month of september in here so we're gonna go ahead and move this to the front. Might as well take out this month of October. Okay, let's see here. So now I have the month of September for my fitness planner in the front here. And oh. You know what I might do though? I might actually just transfer this page over because it has the October overview. So there, that's good. I really like this divider here and I'm so happy we're going back to the pink accents for this planner because this month was blue, it had blue accents and blue is not my favorite color. Okay, so let me add my bookmark here. That's fitness. My next section is my current events section where I journal about the news and everything. And so I'm gonna grab this uh, scrapbook paper with more stickers on it. I just kind of have a random assortment of stickers on it. So I'm gonna pop that there. We have the July overview because it's kind of, um, you know, tied to the back of this sticker sheet, but I don't mind transferring it over. And then we have my month of August in here, which I'm gonna leave in here for now, but I'll take the bookmark. And then what I might do is just take the back or the last page in August because it has this September overview. And I'm gonna find the September month um, amongst all these planner sections. Let's see, here it is. This is it. Well, this is October, so I'll pull that out for now. And then this is September here. So this 
planner is uh, these planner pages are from the colorful leopard planner this is gorgeous i love the colorful leopard line they really knew what they were doing with that line so this is a lined vertical and it has gray accents uh, we have gray accents for this one this month um, so that's exciting so there we have my september um oh nope Oops, I totally messed up. So I'm not supposed to put this in this one. I'm supposed to put it in this one here. What was I thinking? <laughs> it gets confusing sometimes to juggle so many planner sections. But, okay, here we go. So now we have the September, the month of September in this uh, in the proper section here. So we have fitness and then we have current events. And I'll go ahead and pop in my bookmark here. Um, so that way I can continue to fill out uh, for Sunday. So there we have the month of September. And then we have my spirituality section. So I have it marked out with this little divider made of scrapbook paper and stickers i'm transferring that over i'm going to transfer over my aztec calendar and then i will transfer over this scrapbook paper which has a bunch of stickers on the back of it and let's see we'll leave that um august uh, let's skip to uh, the current week so this is the current week here and um, I'll be transferring over, I'll transfer both these pages because I still wanna work on this spread um, today. And so I just kinda wanna get into this new planner. So we'll transfer those over. And then we have the September, I think this is, yeah. Um, this one's in order. So I use the Mickey Mouse dashboard planner for my spirituality section. And I've been really liking how that's been going for me. So then we have the September, the month of September for this section here. That looks good. And so that's fine. And then the next section is my academic section. I have a scrapbook paper here with stickers again. I'm going to transfer over my cover page for that one as well. And then... Um, we have the month of August here. Let's see. And this is my bookmark. I still have a week left for this one because I ended up, uh, I wasn't paying attention to the back of these planner pages when I did this current weekly spread. So um, I'll transfer over these three pages because this is the current week here and I still kind of want to work on it and fill out some things here because i am working today today's sunday and uh, i have some notes here that i want to look at so i want to transfer these pages over but um because i wasn't paying attention i didn't make sure that when i did this weekly spread i wasn't paying attention to the back of it and i didn't realize that it, it was just the start of another week whereas if I had been paying attention I would have made sure to have used one of these pages for this um, this half of the week because it has a monthly overview on the back so what we'll probably end up doing is just we're gonna do another week um, the first week in September kind of combined with the last week or kind kind of combined with August and then next week I will have my monthly overview so I'll just transfer these over here and then for the month of September, for my academic section, I used a, a vertical format. And this is actually a Disney Mickey Mouse vertical layout, but this isn't the one that I like to use for my academic section because it just has lined uh, dot lines here on the sidebar. And I really like how this one that I use has a grid and also a, a to-do list. Okay, so those pages are from this guy right here, and let me try to find a month that I can use. So I can use this month, and these are undated, so I can just pick any month that I so desire. So I could use this one, this one, this one, make your own magic. I really like this one, so I'm going to go for 
this one that says make your own magic. And I'm gonna pop this into the section here. And I'll also just leave my bookmark in the current week. So there's my academic section. I have my month of September here. I got a um, date this monthly calendar. And then I have an extra month in here as well from the same Mickey Mouse planner. I didn't realize that I had this month already in there. So we're gonna put that back into the planner it came from. And then we have the month of September and the month of October from the same fitness planner. But uh, these planner pages go in my other mega happy planner for my mindfulness section. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just take those out. The next section that we have is my community service section. And I'm gonna transfer over the little scrapbook paper that divides that section from the others. And um, let's see. I'm gonna pull out the current week here as well and transfer that over because it has a September overview on it and I'm still kind of working on the stuff in this week. And I also use them to kind of um, outline and guide planning for the upcoming week. So I'll just go and transfer the entire week over as well as the bookmark. And then I already have the um, the month of September for this section in here and it's uh, right where it needs to be so I don't have to move it. So this is the Stephanie Fleming vertical planner that I use for this section. It works really really well for me. I'm going to take out the month of October because we don't need that yet. And then the next section we have going on is my household section. So I'm going to transfer over my scrapbook paper with my household stickers on it. And then the month of August, um, I'm gonna leave in here up until the last week here. So I'm gonna transfer over my bookmark and this last page um, as well. So we'll transfer that over. And I'm also gonna transfer this page because it has some things on it that I kind of want to make sure get transferred over to next week in case um, they don't get done today. So we'll go ahead and put in my bookmark to mark my household section. Then we have the September overview. And then I have my September, my month of September for my household section here. Already I use the Desert Dreams Cactus uh, dashboard. Very, very cute. I'm glad we're back to purple for the accents this month. And I also have October in here, but I need to pull that one out. And then I also have my horizontal pressed florals um, journaling pages in here but since those go in my other planner I'm gonna pull those out and then let's see I also have my reading journal in here so I'm gonna pull that out because that one goes in my other one and then I have my Japanese uh, planner pages in here these need to go as well because um, those go in my other planner and then again I have my reading journal and then I also have my memory keeper pages in here. So those need to go. And then lastly, I have my budget in here. And I do have my, I do keep my budget in this, um, in this planner. So I'll leave that there and I'll pull out the month of October for my budget. So now I just have the month of September for my budget. What else? I'm gonna actually uh, pull out this little grocery list because it's a list of groceries that I currently have and I like to remember what I have. I'm gonna pop that in back into this planner. Um, although I already used the weekly meal plan section, it still has my groceries on here that I have, so I wanna keep that there. And let's see, the last thing to do is transfer over my budget stuff. So I'm just gonna transfer over 
this scrapbook paper with my budget stickers on it and i think that's it yeah um well actually i need to transfer over the september budget overview as well as my bookmark so i'm gonna go ahead and do that um and then we'll be back oh and the last thing i'm gonna do is transfer back transfer over my filler paper i just have a couple of sheets of filler paper that i tuck in the back of my planner for anything that i might need them for so i just am gonna tuck that in there and pop in my bookmark um to separate them and there we have it i think that's it for my uh my first mega planner this is my baby andromeda maybe i'm gonna have to change her name now that she's uh not in her colorful leopard um costume and there we have it she's all set up um oh i think i forgot one last thing yeah i'm gonna pull this this out and pop that in all right and so that's it we've set her up so i'm gonna quickly flip through her and to show you the complete setup all finished so we have um the gold expander discs we have the you are made to bloom floral cover from the vertical realistic floral um planner and then for the cover page i have the fitness edition uh, pages here's my year at a glance and then we have the yearly calendar um, i'm gonna go ahead and pop this bookmark in here and i'll probably uh, transfer over everything that i need to transfer from you know uh, end of august on into this section the calendar continues through next year and then we just have the july overview which is kind of random my folder with some stationery my envelope with some stickers my sticky note dashboard and then we just have some spreads that i've made uh, my sleep logs and then a bookmark scrapbook paper with stickers and then we have my first section which is my affirmations planner and there she is she's a tiny little skinny mini and then we just have more scrapbook paper with stickers my uh, daily agenda section so we have that then we have just another folder with you know a sketchbook paper and stickers and then we have my first classic size planner this is my fitness section i have my fitness sticky note dashboard with some stickers on the back and then this is the last week in august we have the september overview the september um divider which is from the fitness no from the wrong wrong um collection and so this is the september monthly and then the september weekly spreads which are all blank and then we just have the october overview and then some more stickers and then we go into my current events section so this was the last week in august we have the september overview the september divider the september monthly and then and then we have the weekly spreads which this is a lined vertical planner which is excellent for writing so we have that then the October overview, and then we have my spirituality section. Um, I have my Aztec calendar here. So my Aztec calendar, in case you're wondering, um, according to the Aztec calendar, the year is divided into different 13-day um, sections, and each 13-day section represents particular themes, concepts, elements, and so I kind of write down what each era represents as we move through it in the year, so that way I kind of like um, you know, every two weeks I, I sort of build this Aztec calendar um, so that way I have that to reference. And then this is my spirituality section. I use a dashboard in the Mickey Mouse uh, style and I have the current week in here, the September overview, and then we have the calendar and some blank weekly spreads all ready to be filled, the October overview. And then we just have another scrapbook paper with stickers on it and stickers on the back. This is my academic section. I use a vertical planner for this. I adore this sticker I got at my campus bookstore. Um, so there we have the current week. And then this is going to be the upcoming week. But then I'm going to have the September overview and we're going to go into the month of September. So this is undated. So I have to go ahead and date everything um soon 
So there we have that, followed by my community service section, just some more scrapbook paper with stickers. Um, I have here the current week, and then we have the September overview. Oh, I should probably move this here with my bookmark all ready to go. And then we have the September monthly, followed by the September weekly spreads. This is the Stephanie Fleming planner, like I said, the October overview, and then we have my household section with some household stickers, the current week so that I can finish that up today, September overview, and then the September monthly, followed by the weekly spreads. This is um, a dashboard style and I use the Adventure Awaits Desert Dreams Planner. And then my last section is my budget section. So we have scrapbook paper and stickers, my September overview, and then the September um, monthly. And then here we go. Um, this is what this budget section looks like. And then we have the uh, October overview as my last page. And lastly, just a bunch of different filler papers in the back in case I need something um, like this. And oh, this is a random page here. I'll pop that out. And that's it. We have the entire Mega Happy Planner with her eight sections all set up to go for the month of September. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm super excited to get into her and um and just have a lot of fun with all of these planner sections i'm really really excited for the month of september um this cover is really getting me into the fall mood so um yeah looking forward to to working in here more all right everyone i hope you had a great time watching this video i hope your planner setups are going fantastic let me know what's in your lineup what's in your planner lineup for the month of september are you changing covers what are you using um just share with me your fall planner ideas plans vibes i would love to know what's going on in your planner world all right everyone um I'll catch you in my next video and thank you once again for being so kind and supportive of my creative content for leaving such kind comments um, i really appreciate it all right bye